What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. A thousand dollars, or you got to spend the day with me. Which you thousand dollars? Are you out of your mind? Choosing. Give me the money. I won't be offended. Good, because I'm taking that thou wow, buddy. Thousand bucks. A thousand. <laughs> when you have to clarify, you won't. Dude. <laughs> These OF girls always trying to get a guy to simp on them IRL, but we're over it. We're ending the simp epidemic. You know how much I could do with a thousand dollars? Beauty. <laughs> he played her like a fiddle. I love it. That's so good. Yeah, but to tell that I've edited this video, I've edited. Yes, it looks. Like, you look like a horse. You body by surgery. My hips, waist, arms, and even my face. This is why you cannot compare yourself to the videos that you see online. Because yeah, comparisons to Thief of Joy, bro. She was built. I was like, I see that build, and I'm like, it's like some Skyrim build. What is that? Eighth runner up. That's great. Why are you crying? Oh, Ooh. how many people were in it? Twenty nine. Why do they even make a sash? <laughs> That's like saying I got fifth place. How many people were in it? Four. I don't know. 28 out of 20. Bro, she got cooked. Poor baby. Hey, that's the reality, though. It is what it is. If you were given only six months of life, what would you do? I'm blowing your back out every day. <laughs> every day for six months. And um, we're just going to travel. Probably move in with your mom. With my mom? Yeah. Why? Because it would feel like a very long time, those six months. Can't even be mad, bro. <laughs> Orford never wants to watch series with me. What's your favorite show? Grey's Anatomy. Your boyfriend doesn't want to watch that? I don't want to watch TV. What does he do instead? Reading. Reading? Ugh. <laughs> Where are you from? Germany. I got a very German solution. Uh, burn all the books. <laughs> <laughs> So, let me get this. Uh, had a very German. That is, that is. I mean, it was good, but that was bad at the same time. Good lord, bro. <laughs> You're in my guts. Then I'm in your business. So. And if you're in my wallet, then you're in my kitchen. What the? <laughs> if you're in my guts, then I'm in your business. <laughs> my parmesan. If only they were serving dinner. If you're in my guts, then I'm in your business. If you're in my wallet, then you're in my kitchen. I love that. Oh, Lord. A woman driver. Oh. <laughs> he said it so quick, too. He's like, it was a woman driver. Don't worry about it. That is good. My wife is yelling at me, what do I do? And my husband is yelling at me, what do I do? Take a look at the difference. For the wife question, it says to listen actively, acknowledge her feelings, apologize if necessary, and remember that effective communication and empathy are key to resolving conflicts. For the okay. husband question, it says to set boundaries, prioritize safety, seek help, and gives three different domestic violence hotline numbers to call. I wow. wonder why it assumes that the man is abusing the woman when asked this question. But when prompted with the same exact question of the wife yelling, it actually tells him to apologize to her, to acknowledge her feelings, and to seek common ground. Why the difference? Double misandry, bro. It's the opposite of misogyny. Misandry. Misandry. Is that a hole in your pants? Why are you looking? Potter. <laughs> I mean, why are you looking? Nicki Minaj. A few months ago, I ran into an old work colleague and her bodybuilder husband. Oh. And um, I noticed she she was pregnant. And I thought, you know, I'd be funny and make a bit of a joke. And I could say, oh, I, I said, I, I see you're a bodybuilder now too. And they both looked puzzled and they said, oh, well, what do you mean? And I said, oh, well, you're a body baby builder now, growing a baby. Ha <laughs> ha, like oh, no. laughing. Oh, she wasn't pregnant. Oh, no, she wasn't pregnant. No, the, the <sighs> face wasn't happy. And oh. uh, yeah. I fail. She wasn't. She's just fat. Big bag, big bag. Never assume a woman's pregnant, bro. Jack, bro. You ever do anything fun with that big ass? <laughs> if I ever got big, I would do dumb. Scare pigeons. Like I would do dumb. <laughs> like yo, if I was big as you.
you know, I just walk into Starbucks and there was like a, there was like a long ass line. I just walk in, I'm like, I'm next. And just walk. <laughs> because dude, if I was in line and that big mother did that, I'd be like, I guess he's next. Like, I, this guy loves lattes, so I can get it. What do you do for work, man? Security. Yup, there we go. <laughs> You do security too? You know like Taekwondo? <laughs> you don't know not one <laughs> Not one Not one move. So what happens if some some pops off? Why are they paying you? <laughs> For real. So whistle, that's a human. You <laughs> get $21 an hour to go. So let me get this. Women work in security, I was about to say she's tiny. I call him. Then why are you even working? Your hand and see what he does with it. I have never seen that. <laughs> he just put. That is so savage. My bad. I was just trying to pass through. Oh, you're That's, good. Take a hike, Y'all look cute. Can you get your number? No, I'm good. You said what? I'm good. Can I get your number? Okay. Turn on my phone. Hey, what? What you won't do? The next one will, baby girl. Give me a number. I'm good. What's wrong with your friend? You're good. <laughs> you're good. Oh. What's your name? <laughs> She see Ben. Nothing. Nothing with you. I'm talking to her. Why are you trying to talk? It was nice to meet you. Huh? Bye. All right. Let me guess. He's about to get in a foreign. Rari. She look real stupid now. Yeah, we gonna trap it up later on, but you know. Yeah. No, it's okay. I like your car, but I don't like. Oh, you like my no, car? No, she's gonna get an Uber. So. You into Uber. Cars? Yeah. All right, come inside. <laughs> you gotta figure it out. It's Uber or something. Yeah. She mad, but we out of here. <laughs> How you doing? I love it, bro. Talk about. I love it. I love it. What do you call that when a girl is out with a girl and then there got it's not. I mean, she's a gold digger. Clearly, there's got to be a new term for that. Chat, come up with something. Let me know. Then like this, and then place your thumb on top like so. That will increase the pleasure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it, bro. This is so good. It's a great tip. I'm having now, tacos tonight. These are the types of facial hair no woman wants to see on a okay. man. Brand. Yeah. I'm thinking about shaving off my mustache. No. I'm just trimming it. And uh, I don't know. You've never seen me without it. <laughs> you don't want me to shave it? No. 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 It's a bit. <laughs> she got up. No. <laughs> that mustache. Dude, I don't know about y'all. I cannot just rock a mustache. I look like Earthworm Jim with a freaking mustache. I'm beat to bits, bruv. Do you believe in love at first sight or should I just walk by again? What? Do you believe in love at first sight, or should I just walk by again? What is this fit? Did she fall down in a TJ Maxx? <laughs> it's just the most random fit. You don't believe in love at first sight? Yeah. Don't wear such a nice suit again. Damn, she wanted love at first sight, and all she got cooked. Then why? Then why do this? I mean, you're doing like. You're doing donkey kicks in the middle of the gym. What do you expect? That's what I'm saying. You're like you're doing donkey kicks. Like what is that? Like people are gonna look at you when you're doing something stupid, bro. Like they're looking at you because you look dumb. Stupid. They're not looking at you because they want something. You're doing donkey. Like, how is somebody supposed to work out when you're kicking your leg back? Men are good for is to provide. And maybe make me laugh every now and then, but I think I'm funnier, so. Men do a lot. Men created this table, them chairs. They fight in the wars for us. Women yeah. do that, too. Who? What woman do you want? Do you ever see a woman construction worker, a woman on the skyscraper building cleaning the windows? Do you ever see I mean, I've never. a car? Women saying. choose to be in different, like, easier job titles. Teachers. Teaching's easy, not easy. I'm, it's just very safe. Bro, teaching these days, 
is like glorified babysitting. And I used to be a teacher. It's not teaching is not hard. You know what hard work is? Driving eighteen hundred miles as a truck driver, breaking up concrete, like being a landscaper in July in Texas. That being a roofer in July in Texas. That that's a hard job. Whoa. Teaching's not hard easy job men don't really have a choice they have to do these hard jobs because who else is going to do it we're not going to actually choose to be an electrician we're just not oh. if you had to choose between being an electrician or being an at-home wife you're going to be an at-home wife and get taken care of we all know this men invented and built i mean facts i mean this girl's absolutely preaching absolutely preaching Oop, wrong one absolutely preaching i got to take these alerts away because they're doing the wow i don't know if you heard that chat um, all right, let's jump back into this. 99% of the things. Well, and the thing is with plumbers and electricians, they take up 98, 99% of all those jobs. Like, I think plumbers are dominated right now by men. It's like 98%. Only 2% of women are plumbers. Beginning of the pandemic to do something for the betterment of all society. I started dancing half naked on TikTok. <laughs> Thank you. What? And I was killing it, you guys. What? She's a runner, she's a track star. I got almost 5 million followers total. <laughs> <laughs> but I got banned 30 times. Because they're like, we're a classy platform. You can't be dancing in a bikini on this app at age 50. Oh, she belongs to the streets. Ma'am. That's what I'm saying. Bro, literally, she got on stage to just gloat that she almost got 5 million followers, and now she's doing stand-up. Bro, take the microphone away from these people. Mike, watch out. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful about what? Be careful. Stir. Stir. More. <laughs> more. You're going to let it burn. Stir. Stop it. I'm you, making sausage. Put some more oil. You need a little you bit of oil in there. You how to make sausage? I'm no, making... put some oil in there. A little bit of oil. I already put some in there. Put some oil in there. I already did. Put some oil in there. Too much. That's way too much. I didn't even get it's all. Oh, it's gonna be greasy now. Way too much oil. Stir. Okay. Stir. You're gonna burn. I am You're gonna burn. It. Some pepper in there. Need some pepper in there. I do that later. Put I some don't... pepper in there. Oh, it's too much pepper. Oh my god. Too much. What are you? Do Why are you in here? Because <laughs> you just need to listen. And why are you not stirring? You're gonna mess it up. Baby, you're making me nervous. Why are you doing? I, I don't know. Why don't why don't you listen to me when you're cooking? You're gonna you're gonna ruin the whole thing. I'm not cooking. Not you, me, I am. Why are you doing this? Cause I want you to know what it feels like when I'm driving. Are you serious? Get out of here. Man. That's so true though. I hate the <gasps> the nitpicking, the craziness. The guy. Yeah. It does. I judge based on unnatural beauty. So let's remove some makeup to see what you really look like. Okay, why are you being like that? Being like what? You judge guys based on something they can't change. Okay. I know, because you can change that. I'll take my makeup off. I don't give a right, Let's see it. I'm not I'm going out. So, no? <laughs> I'll take my makeup off. It's just not right now. <laughs> Shoes and a muscle suit. I love it, dude. I see a whole lot of body suits, not a lot of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Spit on it. I promise you, men are better at that game. Men are better at that game. Promise you. Uh oh. Twenty-six. Uh, twenty-eight. How long you been together? Ten weeks. At what point did you ask her to be your girlfriend? Oh, that hasn't happened so, yet. So yeah, that <laughs> we are technically not a couple. Right now, we're just like traveling together. I think he's gonna ask me very soon. You wouldn't feel any type of way traveling together. She's a runner. She's a track star. What kind of traveling y'all doing? Just getting a lot of mileage? If she was talking to like other guys or- Two days ago we were on a boat. Some guy was a little bit inappropriate with her and I stepped up and- Oh so? Well he oh, asked- he smashed my ass. Yeah, he asked her for a picture, had her sit on his lap and like was feeling up on her and she when she got up to walk away, she smacked his ass. I was upset about it. I stood up from where I was sitting and I said, hey, what, what the f about? That's not cool. That's just super disrespectful. It was disrespectful. But why did you feel comfortable sitting on his lap when you I were there with him at the time? I was there to take a picture. I was there to take a picture. Why? Oh, Lord. You were comfortable enough to take a picture with him? Sit in his lap? Come on. No strings attached. Nothing serious. That's when he started grabbing me. Then I was like, okay. Boundaries. Respect is currency yikes. in a relationship. Yike, yike, yikes, bruv. Brutal. I was on a boat. I can already tell this guy's probably got bags. Good for him, though. Good for him. If he's earned it, good for him. Hours on the first date. 
No. No. Why not? It's an overinvestment. There you go. It's an overinvestment. You're going to creep her out. Trust me, I've done this now with men from over 30 countries, from all around the world, hundreds of them, and it serves no purpose to bring flowers to the date ever. You can do that on your one year anniversary. You will just creep them out. Flowers? Yeah, never, never do flowers on a first date. I completely agree with Personally that. I personally hate it when people are like, oh, men's mental health. Oh, men are afraid of being emotional. Because it's not that men are afraid of being emotional. So what is it they're afraid of then? Oh, they're afraid of being a woman. Um, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. What? I don't think that's quite it. Men are afraid of showing their emotions because they're socialized not to show emotions in public, which is true. But I don't think they're afraid of showing emotions. And why is that? Because men show emotions all the time. Can we have some examples? They're more likely to express their anger and lash out. Like, those are extreme emotions. So it's not that they're afraid of expressing emotions. It's that as a society, we have labeled certain emotions as feminine. So emotions such as sadness, like tears, or love, like caring for others, those are considered to be feminine traits. And those uh, I disagree. I, I don't think that that's a feminine trait. Caring for someone? I, I don't know. Chat, let me know. Emotions that men reject. I don't believe it's rejection of those type of emotions. It's more like men oftentimes know the proper time and place to express such emotions, which is usually in private. Thanks. Because they don't want to be feminine. Because the worst thing they can be is a woman. It has nothing to do with being perceived as being feminine. It does, however, have everything to do with being perceived as showing weakness, which has nothing to do with being feminine. Unless, of course, one is trying to equate femininity with weakness. So when people are like, we should teach men to be more vulnerable, we should let them be more emotional. No, no, we should teach them to stop hating women. It's all about that. Talk about missing the mark. It's really not about men hating women, because in no. fact most men don't. And that's not the reason why most men choose not to express their emotions in public. It's because they have been taught to always be strong. So most men choose to express their emotions privately. Thinking that men's issues with- Wow. Yeah, I mean, with her logic, femininity means you're weak. Is that what she's admitting? I doubt she would be willing to agree with that take right there, though. But that's just so weird to me. Yeah, men just know the time and place About to do you. it. You didn't go to my wedding, but you came to my divorce, huh? So what? I want to see you happy. <laughs> <laughs> Skip. I wanted to see you happy. <laughs> that's rich, bro. It was for dead people, right? And old people. And then... I don't know what time it happened where we started putting this stuff on, but it's ridiculous. If you having skin issues, that mean that the, the way that you're consuming your lifestyle is not serving you. So why patch it up? Fix the problem. You don't need to wear makeup. If you consume right, exercise, hydrate yourself with natural foods i don't wear makeup i don't do any of that because i truly accept myself for who i am and what i am and to help that process i consume a certain way i live a certain way so you're going to radiate when you change your life in the fullness holistically so there's no excuse <laughs> <laughs> With all the f facts, bro, facts. I applaud this woman right here. Men prefer natural beauty over makeup. We like you with your natural face, natural hair, natural eyelashes. Like, let's end the cumbrellas. Hashtag end cumbrellas. Yeah. Adios makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a straight gremlin. It's hard. My precious. But hard times create strong men. A man must chase pain in order to achieve greatness. Max. I don't chase. I attract. I deserve everything. I deserve nothing. Nobody is coming to save me. Max. I am loved. Nobody loves me. I don't even like myself. I'm a strong, independent woman. So here's 12 reps of I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I need to be a better man. I need to be a better man. Don't need a man. <sighs> I deserve a nice matcha. 209. 200. Is that it? Is this the power of my bloodline? My family is counting on me. I must push forward. Did I even go gym if I didn't take a selfie? Every time I stop, my enemies get one step closer to the throne. So, so I, I cannot, cannot give up. up. I, I will not accept, accept anything less than Emperor. 
<laughs> that was such a good workout. What a cow. No cheat meal this week. Men are out here. Bro, it, it really be like that. I went to I went to TJ Maxx the other day with Cass and bought some 20 pound weights just because I feel like at night, like I make sure to get 10K steps a day. I've been doing this for like 90 days straight. I highly, highly suggest you start doing it. But I got some 20 pound weights and at night I'll just rep some curls and just walk around, do some farmer's carry. But like absolutely great investment just having some uh, bought like some dumbbells at the house. I thought you were my teacher. I That's how we that. look. Wait, can we see how you look? Like, can you turn the camera to us? I want to see. Thank you. No! How did you do that? You would look so ugly. When your face and your neck don't match, man, them colors killing y'all. Wait, wait. No. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> No! Oh my gosh, you're super pretty! You're so, you're so pretty! Thanks so much! You're so <laughs> He's cooking him. What a reality Bro, shot. these guys that can do this stuff is wizardry. I can't remember the one guy that does this all the time, but that, that is so entertaining. I'm gonna pick up my son. Because his stepmom. Single mom. Single mom. Single mom. What is going on? She's just gonna keep ringing it? I can hear, I can hear my son. I, I can hear the, the doorbell ringing. If his, if his father's not here, he shouldn't be here. He's coming home with I'm me. He's taking care of your He's son. coming home. You don't need to record me. Listen, he's coming home with me. He's fine. You wanna be on TikTok talking about me? He's coming home with me. I'm taking great care of your son. You don't got, you have nothing to I, worry about. Listen, babe. I don't even know why he's with you. Stop stressing it. I'm gonna be in his life for the rest of his life. You're just mad. Mad about what? You're mad. I'm not all that. That's why really? when he's not home, he's still calling me. Oh, really? And it's not about our kids. Oh, really? Kids. Do you have receipts? Yeah, I do. do. I do, but I don't owe all, you nothing. First of all, this is about picking up I don't owe you nothing. I, I yeah. love it when women fight over a man. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you oh, actually anything. do. You it's your house that smells. <laughs> Excuse me? It's your house that smells. My house smells like flowers. Your house smells like flowers. Okay, first of all, you can stay right there. I've been um, in his life. That's my son. Did that you give birth to him? It doesn't wow, man. Uh... The pettiness. The level of pettiness. Loki, does somebody want a jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. That's wild to me, man. But I can't really blame guys. Um, like I can't blame him for maybe wanting to leave her because she seemed like um, she seemed like a lot to hey, deal with. I'm gonna keep it imagine real. having. I'm gonna keep it real, 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 real. I'm gonna keep it a straight buck of luck, buckarones. Let's get to this next clip here. Yeah. <laughs> This is a big reason why men are going abroad for love. I mean, if that's the regular schmegular girls going abroad, that's what they look like. Goodness gracious. Like, and she looked like she didn't have a ton of makeup on and nothing like that. But I don't know if that was a body by surgery or if that was that was God built. I don't even know. But chat, would you go abroad? Would you be a passport, bro? Would you get your passport and go to another country? I don't know if I would, man. And if so, let me know in the comments what country you would go to. Would you go to Brazil? Would you go to Colombia? Would you go to Puerto Rico? Would you go to Costa Rica? Would you, you know, where would you go? Would you go to the Philippines? Would you go to Japan? Would you go to Thailand? Like, where would you go? Let me know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace!